Hi guys, hi, how are y'all? Welcome to another uh, video. So today's video, teacher is going to uh, do the third part for integration. So if before this you have been watching uh, my videos, uh, I have done uh, indefinite integral and I've done definite integral. So today's part, we are going to do the uh, part where you have to find equation uh, of a curve from the given gradient function. Okay, so stay tuned and if this is your first time you're watching my uh, video, welcome. Uh, my name is Teacher Veronica and I hope that uh, you stay until the end. Uh, do subscribe, uh, do share some love by clicking the like button and of course sharing this uh, with a friend so that they can benefit as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in this part we are going to find equations. Okay. Remember, when you want to find equations, that means uh, you are actually finding the y, okay? When you see this word, equation, what are we finding? We are finding the y, okay? Where are we finding the y from? We are finding the y from gradient function, okay? What is gradient function? You have to uh, recall back what is gradient function. Gradient function means your dy dx. Okay, gradient always is dy dx. I've always and always uh, told this, whenever you're finding gradient, when you, that means you're doing differentiation. Whenever you are changing the gradient back to become the equation, that means it's becoming the y back. Okay, so what's happening there? That means you are uh, doing integration. That means the process has been reversed. Okay, so now this is what's happening. We are going to do integration, okay, to find the equation, okay. And this type of questions will usually give you points, okay. Like the points of, of the equation where the equation is passing, right. For example, uh, okay, let's say you have a curve like this, a U smiling curve. So that means it will give one of the points. Maybe it will give here like a 3, 2, a point. Okay, they'll just give a point. So, you must know that you must substitute the point into the uh, integration, after you do the integration, so that you can get what is the y. Okay, so now let's do uh, one simple example. Let's try. Uh. Okay, let's say I give you here the question. Okay, now let's look at this question. Find the equation of a curve. Okay, whose gradient function, that means what is given here already. When gradient function is given, it means that your dy dx is given. Huh? This is dy dx. Okay, dy dx is given. It's passing through the point 3, 1. So, point also given. They've given you point. Okay, so now what you need to do is first step. Do integration. Okay, step 1. Do integration. So, take your dy dx, okay, this is your dy dx, right? 3x square minus 2, we need to do integration. Okay, so integration must have what symbols? Remember, it must have this, the integral symbol, okay? Then put dy dx, differentiate with a dx, huh? okay? Always we differentiate with respect to a dx. Then at the back also, you can put that 3x square minus 2 dx. Okay. Now, when you differentiate this, actually, you are getting y. Okay. You are getting the equation, lah, the function uh, y. You are getting that. Okay. So, now, let's look at how you differ, uh, integrate the 3x square minus 2. Okay. The 3x square minus 2 will become what? You have 3x square. So, what you must do to the power? Okay. The power must always plus by 1. Integration must always plus 1. Huh? Okay, so this one here, plus 1. Huh? Okay, so becomes 3x power of 3. Then what you must do? You must divide by the power. That's already plus. That means divide by 3. Okay, then minus 2 will become what? Because now 2 don't have any x. So since this is integration, you add x to it okay you must add x to it so it becomes 2x minus 2x okay finish ready 
haven't ah, there's one more thing that you need to add, which is plus C, the constant. I've explained uh, why we plus the C, why we plus the constant in previous video. You can always go and check it out, okay? So, when you do all this, okay, so done ready. Now, let's look, we solve the final part. So, cut the tree. So, Y equals to X cubed minus 2X plus C. Okay, if you look carefully at uh, this equation, is the equation complete or not complete? Do you think the equation is complete? Okay, it's not. Okay, why it's not complete? Because it has a C. Okay, equations must not have C. Equations must have just like Y equals to, like that numbers and all. So, that means the C value we need to find. You need to find the C value. Okay, how to find the C value? Find the value of C. You need to substitute. Remember, that's now the point. They give you points. You substitute the points 3, 1 into the equation. Because we're already going to almost solve, right? We just need to find the C only. Okay, that means this one will be your X and this one will be your Y. We substitute in. Huh? So, 1 equals to the X will become 3. 3 power of 3. Minus 2 power of 3. Oh, sorry, 2 times 3 plus with C. Okay, so when you solve this, uh, we will get okay, 1 minus 3 power of 3 plus 2. Three. So C, we will get negative 20. C is negative 20. So now that we already got our C, we can write our final answer. Okay, Y equals to x cube minus 2x minus 20. So, this is our equation for the curve. Okay, so I hope uh, the steps, the steps are very easy, okay? You realize you just do the integration, substitute the point. Do integration, substitute the point. Okay, so let's look at another uh, example. Okay, so now let's look at question 2. Okay, so read the question properly. Make sure you know which one is dy dx. Make sure you know which one is the point. Okay, so that you can do the process. Okay, the gradient function dy dx of a curve at the point x, y is dy dx equals to 3x plus 4. Great. Here they straight away already uh, actually write for us. What is dy dx? Okay, so you straight away just know already that is the dy dx. Okay, given the point 1, 7. Okay, great. Point 1, 7 is also given already. Okay, lies on the curve. Determine the equation of the curve. Okay, so first step. Step 1, okay, write your dy dx first. Okay, dy dx equals to 3x squared plus 4. Okay, so now what process we must do? We must do integration. Okay, so write the integral sign. Put dy dx. D, we are integrating with respect to dx. Okay. Uh, this one also. Integrate. Okay. 3x squared plus 4. We are integrating with respect to x. Okay. So now, what's going to happen here? Here will become y equals to. Okay. 3x squared plus 4 will become. Okay. The power must plus 1. Huh? So, 3x power of 3. Over, divide by 3. Divide by the power that you already plus. Okay, the back one will become 4x. Remember, uh, every time when you integrate a number or a constant, always must put x at the back. Okay, I just give example. Like integrate 2. So, will become 2x. Integrate 100. So, will become 100x. It's very simple. For constant, it's always very simple. Huh? Okay, please remember this. Okay, now, plus 4x and then one more thing, don't forget. Okay, we have to plus uh, c. Okay, constant. Okay, so now we plus with c here. Okay, so we solve which one don't, don't need. We cut and everything. So, y equals to x cubed plus 4x plus c. Okay. Now, we already got the equation. But one thing here, cha cha, is the C at the back, the constant. So, we don't want the C. We must ganti. We must find the value of C. Okay, let's find value of C. Okay. 
what you need to do is substitute the point. Okay, substitute 1, 7 into the equation. Okay, so the 1 is actually the x value. Uh, the 7 is actually the y value. So, 7 equals to 1 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the, uh, times 1 plus c. So, let's find what is c. Yeah? Okay, so 7 minus 1 minus 4. Okay, so you get c equals to 2. Okay, so we are done. We already found the equation of this curve. So, x squared plus 4x plus 2. Yes, this is the answer for the equation of the curve. So, I hope this, this, can, this example is actually easy, can be done. Okay, so whenever you're doing this practice, remember these two steps. Do the integration, substitute the uh, point. Okay, now let's go to next part. Okay, maybe I'll give a question down here. What you can do is you can pause uh, try out the question. Write down in the comment section below. Okay. Okay. So now is question time. Okay. Uh, take about uh, two minutes, two or three minutes of your time to try the question using the uh, method that we already learned. Okay. Pause or, uh, you know, after you watch the entire video, come back to this part, try, give a comment below and I'll definitely reply whether your answer is correct or not. Okay. So, pause this before we continue. Take your time. Because we are going to go to the next part. Okay. If you haven't paused and you haven't tried yet, what are you waiting for? Okay. Alright. So, I'll see you uh, in the next video. Okay, I'll see you in the next video because this next part is already going to uh, the next uh, subtopic which is definite integral. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. So, you just click in the playlist. Okay, it will be the integration playlist. Okay, until I see you next time, don't forget to comment in the section because I'm waiting for all your answers. Bye.